Jim, on the eve of the 2011 AEA Convention and Trade Show, it's time to take a look at what's new at Garmin, and, and we're talking what's really, really new here. And personally, I think you're trying to you're trying to fool me with something here. There's no buttons, no knobs. What what the hell are you trying to pull off here? Come on. I tell you what, we've made uh, buttons disappear, and uh, a lot of the uh, complexities of operation vanish uh, with the introduction of the new GTN uh, 650 and 750 series units. These are the latest and greatest GPS WAS navigators with COM and navigation capability as well. We're proud to bring these products to market as a next generation product to the 430 and 530. Well, let's face it, the 430 and 530 owned a fair amount of uh, panel real estate over the last couple, boy, how long? It, it's been, what? Uh, just on 13 years. Yeah, I was about to say, about a decade and a half or so. <laughs> it just about is. And uh, with the introduction of these new products, we have uh, completely overhauled the way we've done everything, both from operations to overall screen size that you have with the unit as well. That's one of the great features of both new GTN series products compared to the predecessors. The, uh, the GTN 650 is uh, about 50% larger screen space than the uh, the previous 430 unit. Uh, the GTN 750 is almost 100% bigger than the uh, the 530 series, so you get quite a bit more screen size uh, and the operational simplicity with the graphical uh, user interface, the icon style symbology that we use, uh, it really is a, a fresh step in the, the right direction from simplicity and ease of operations. But these are not drop-in replacements for the 530 and 430, are they? These are not drop-in replacements products. That's a true statement. The GTN uh, 650, though, is approximately the same size as the previous 430 units. So although you do need to put a, a new rack inside of the aircraft and there'll be some new wiring as well, the size that the GTN 650 needs is going to work for all existing 430 customers. Uh, the GTN 750 um, is a six inch tall unit, um, so that is a fair amount bigger than the, the predecessor but you've got the advantage of being able to do additional integration with the 750 that's never been done, done before in the industry, and that allows for the integration of our GMA350 audio controller. And so we've got this new GMA350 product um, that has a whole other wealth of opportunity and excitement that it's going to bring into the aviation industry, um, but allows graphical user interface of your audio controls now. Short and sweet. Clean sheet of paper, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Short and sweet. Um, this is a fresh uh, fresh look at uh, avionics and the the, uh, the pilot interface with uh, the way we work with the aircraft. And uh, I think uh, everybody's just going to be blown away with what they see. What makes this as uh, revolutionary or as magic as, as we've been led to believe? Well, I tell you what, it's, uh, it's the great screen size. It's the uh, incredible graphics capability of both units. Um, it's the added integration that we have now. Um, it's the WAS navigation capability. Um, not only that, you can also fly uh, virtually all airing 429 uh, procedures now, uh, with the exception of uh, radius to fix legs, RF legs. But uh, you can do heading to fix legs now with this new product uh, when you're interfacing, for example, with a G500 and G600. So you can truly have a hands-off experience when flying your aircraft with this new product. One of the great things that the GTN 650 both and the 750 both can do is the, the transponder functionality. And we've actually integrated through Garmin's uh, GTX 32 or GTX 33 transponder. That's the Mode C and the Mode S transponder. You get all your, flight, your uh, transponder functionality wrapped into this as well. You touch on the little box there that's uh, giving your existing squawk, and you can dial in your squawk and press Enter. And voila. And of course, that's going to cross fill down into your 650 here as well. Um, if you've got just one transport, or you could support a dual transponder installation with this as well. I noticed during some of your setup, something I had seen before when you let us into your super secret semi nuclear labs uh, for the uh, G3000 look we got uh, some time ago, and of course, the look we got at the 5000 series during uh, MBAA. Um, Seems like there's uh, some close cousins to the technology here. I tell you what, we uh, Garmin's very good at leveraging our uh, our capabilities and our, our resources and our talents, and and we've done that again with G3000 and G5000. We've taken a lot of that same operational logic that we've become so proud of now for those products and implemented it into a uh, uh, a product that's actually going to be first to market now. The GTN. The thing that's going to I think surprise everybody is we're introducing this product here at the Aircraft Electrical Association convention, and we're so proud to be able to say not only are we TSO certified, not only are we fully FAA certified, which includes uh, STC, but we've got product in stock and ready to ship. 
How much? <laughs> List price for the GTN uh, 750 is sixteen nine ninety five. List price for the GTN 650 is eleven four ninety five. Aero TV is brought to you by. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidine's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer.